Hi everyone, this is Karen Hooley and I'm here today to talk to you about my new book, Crochet Projects That Will Hook You. Before we get started, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel to see great tips and tricks, reviews and more. Something new arrives every single week. So let's get started. Crochet Projects That Will Hook You has been published by Capstone Publishing and I'll link to their website at the end of this video so you can see um, how to purchase. I'm really excited about this book. It's, um, it's a kid's book. Um, we targeted it towards tweens, but I really truly believe that crocheters from any age, especially adults who are just learning how to crochet will benefit from this book. So I'm really excited to show you what's inside. So let's, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna see is the table of contents. And I wanted to show you this because I have it broken down in basically two sections. The first start is the getting started and it talks about all the different things we need to do to get started with crochet and we'll go over that in just a minute. And then the second section is called Let's Crochet but it's actually all the patterns in the book. And I'm really excited about all these patterns and how they will teach you how to crochet. So as you turn the page into the getting started section, you'll see the first thing we talk about are tools and a lot of crocheters, when they're first learning to crochet, don't realize that you need more than just a crochet hook and yarn and maybe a pair of scissors to cut. Um, you need measuring tapes and yarn needles and row counters. So I talk about those and why you need them. And then we move on to yarn itself. And yarn has a whole lot of things to talk about. Um, one of the biggest things I, I put in this book is the Craft Yarn Council standard weight system. And if what I really like about this particular page is that it shows you with each um, with each weight a yarn that kind of gives you what the thickness is. So the smaller the number, the thinner the yarn. And um, it also talks about all of the um, label information. So this is really good information for you to learn how to read a yarn label as well. Uh, the next page talks more about yarn and the difference between a skein and a hank. A lot of people like to uh, interchange those two terms, but they're really different. Skeins are one way of winding yarn and hanks are another. The next two pages talk about gauge and crochet hooks, and those kind of go hand in hand. Um, we talk about how important gauge is, which I know a lot of crocheters don't want to talk about, but gauge is really important in order to get your project right. And then we talk about how using uh, different hooks with the same yarn can cause um, the project to be bigger or smaller depending on what you're doing. Then the next two pages are some basics like how to hold the hook, how to make a slip knot, which is how I teach in one of my children's classes, but I think adults can benefit from that one too if you don't know how to make a slip knot. And then we talk about how you hold your yarn, how to fasten off, which is really just cutting the ends, and how to uh, weave in all your tails at the end. And then once we finish the getting started section, we get right into the patterns. Now I'm really excited about these patterns because I've created them to walk you through step by step, not only making these patterns, but also reading patterns as well. So we'll talk about that in just a sec. So the very first pattern is learning how to do the chain stitch. And with the chain stitch, you're gonna make some shoelaces. And what I like about this is not only did, do I have the instructions here, but they're all written out. They're not written set like a normal crochet pattern. So like it says in words, make a slip knot. Then it says put the hook in the slip knot loop and pull the tail until the loop is small enough to stay on the hook. So that's just the basics. But you'll notice that I have pictures here also showing you all the important details so you have a visual to look at while you're learning how to crochet. The same thing happens with the mitts for me. You're learning how to do a single crochet in this, and it's the same thing. Take the measurements of your two hands, and this is to help figure out what size you need to make your mitts, but then make a chain that matches that first measurement. So we walk you step by step. There's pictures where you need them to learn how to do things. 
And then we also have instructions here on how to whip stitch and there's pictures showing you how to do that as well. The third pattern is the half double crochet. And again, we're doing the same thing, written word with some photos giving you the highlights of everything. I even show you front loop and back loop in this. So that's something that you're gonna learn when you're doing this project. And what changes here is now something happens that I call now the real pattern. And what I've done is after I show you how to make the hat, make the pom-pom, sew it all together, you have the actual pattern written out in words here. Then we move on to double crochet. And with double crochet, you're also learning how to skip stitches. So you're gonna learn how to do the double crochet first here all in one row. And then you're gonna learn also how to make almost um, a filet crochet type of pattern with this. Again, all written out. And then at the very end, the pattern in normal crochet terminology. The next pattern is a blanket. And with this blanket, you are using all the stitches you've learned so far, except for the half double crochet. And I'm gonna be teaching you how to change colors, how to cross double crochets. And this one is written, now you'll start to see in normal crochet terminology. So by the time you get to this pattern, you should be able to start reading basic patterns. And this is a really fun pattern because it also has a pillow and it's the same pattern as the blanket, except you're going to make it smaller as two squares and you're going to learn to crochet the edges together to make the pillow. It's a really cute set. I'm really excited about that. Then there's the bangles and bunting. And this pattern is going to teach you how to decrease. I don't have a pattern in here on increasing crochet, but I do have this to teach about decreasing. I think when you're learning to crochet, decreasing is easier to understand instead of increasing. So we decided to make these this um, bangles and bunting. So each triangle starts at the long end and you're gonna learn how to decrease until you get to the point. And you'll see we're gonna be using a single crochet two together and a single crochet three together. So you're gonna learn two new, new stitches in this pattern. And also on this side, you'll see that we have some try this to how to decorate your bunting so that it's a little more fun to play with. And then the very last pattern is the bring it with bag. And this is kind of the culmination of the entire book. It's teaching you how to make the rectangles. You're gonna be crocheting them together, which you did before on the pillow. The only new thing you're gonna learn here is how to make handles and how to sew them onto the bag. Then after that particular pattern, um, we, at the very end of the book, we have our master abbreviations. So all the abbreviations that are used inside the book are listed here. And then we have the crochet chart symbols. And I think this is an important piece of the pattern because once you're finished with this book and you wanna go off and buy a new pattern, um, and a lot of times they'll have a chart in there and you don't know how to read them. So this will give you an idea of what each of those symbols mean and get you started on the road to reading crochet charts. Then at the very end, we have a read more section, which has some resources for you to learn more about crochet. Of course, my bio. And then this book is part of a four book set that was released in January, 2018. So there's a, another listing of all of the books that are part of this package. Now, I want to tell you that again, um, this was published by Capstone Publishing. It's targeted toward tweens, but I think any crocheter can use it. Um, also, um, you can purchase it on the Capstone website, which will be down at the bottom of this video, as well as you can purchase it on Amazon, and I'll give you that link as well down in, in the notes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I'd love to hear in the comments what you think about this book and, and the patterns that are in it. As another reminder, subscribe to my channel for more tips, tricks, and reviews just like this. And if you click the bell right next to the subscribe, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks again. Talk to you later.